Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, baseball collector, and today is one of those fun days that I look forward to every year, and that is when I am compiling my YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame ballot. And there's some of you watching my channel who are like, what the heck is that? Uh, this is something actually that has had <laughs> as long as, of a lifespan as pretty much anything in, in the YouTube Sports Card community. It was started, this is the sixth year of doing this, when this idea was hatched, it was mainly meant to, and, and, and it's still this, it, this is what it's for. It's like, wow, you get to come on and these are my favorite channels. These are the people in the community that I respect and, and love their collections and all that stuff. And I want to honor them by, I think they make the best content out there. And I want to honor them and, and bring to light their channel so that others who may not know them may discover them and, and fall in love just like I have. That was the impetus of it back in the day. Now it is uh, just evolved and kind of just become this thing that we do every year is vote on a new class of people that we think need to be so honored. The people already in the YouTube Hall of Fame, YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame are uh, just a laundry list of great guys and great collectors and great community members and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's really cool to see this continue, to see Jake take on the role of commissioner so well, and he's doing a great job, but he's changed some things that I think are really smart. And so, yeah, as a YouTube Hall of Fame member myself, I I feel it's incumbent upon me to vote. Uh, and I And I hope that all the other guys that are in will also vote. Not that our vote counts any more than anyone else's, but, you know, people took the time to vote for me back in the day, and it would be a pretty dick move for me not to do it for other people and pay that forward. And so I don't want to be that guy. I'm, I'm going to cast my ballot just like everybody else. When I think about Hall of Fame worthy channels as a Hall of Fame guy... I, I kind of look at it the same way as I look at the Baseball Hall of Fame and that, you know, I want to look at someone's complete body of work. I look for channels to think about this way that either educate, inspire, or entertain me. Ideally, all three. Those are just components that I think are important if you're doing a YouTube channel. You want to be entertaining, you want to be educational, and you want to inspire others either not necessarily to collect the same thing you collect, but that passion that, that they might th might show to inspire someone else to take on a, a project of their own. Not the same, but maybe the same, but ideally just, hey, this dude really loves his stuff. And I, and I hope I do that, honestly. Uh, I hope that's something my channel does. And a lot of the channels that are in the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame already do. Um, I've already seen a lot of votes going up, so I wanted to get mine out there sooner rather than later. Uh, plus, it's easier on Jake as he's compiling the results. If he can just sit down and kind of binge watch a lot of, that's what I used to do, is just binge watch all the results and people voting. And uh, it's all transparent. It's all this and that. And, and it's, it's, it's done really well. And Jake does a really good job of it. So good job to you, Jake. Um, so when I look at somebody's complete body of work as a YouTube channel, with those three criteria that I mentioned earlier being a part of that, but does it matter how many subscribers they have? Kinda. Like all of these things are components that I considered when I was making my list. Uh, do they put a lot of effort into their videos? What's their production value like? Um, what do, you know, do people watch it? You know, you can have a lot of subs and make really good videos, but if nobody's watching it, then is that really a great product? I don't know. Uh, I would say no. Um, so all of, there's just so many things that go into it. It's not just, here's my 10 best buddies and let's vote for them. I really thought about this. In fact, there are people on this list that uh, aren't my best buddies. And luckily, I, I know all of them that I'm voting for. Uh, that actually played into it a little bit. Because if I know them, then I'm following their channels and I'm seeing what they're doing and all of that kind of good stuff. But I had originally 17 on my list here that I wanted to vote for, that I can like, okay, let me narrow it down because I think I'm subscribed to close to 400 channels. And so 
uh, like, okay, which ones make the cut? Three years, you have to have been doing YouTube content is the cutoff. So there were guys like uh, Don's Field of Dreams, John Wade Boggs fan, a couple guys that weren't even on my consideration list because they, they just missed three years. Um, and then there's some guys that, you know, I look at how consistently do they make content? How current is their content? Not that I think actually Hall of Fame means you just, you know, longevity matters. Like how long have you been doing that? And so I went in my ultimate 10 list, I kind of went old school. I picked more guys that have been doing it longer. If I kind of looked at two candidates and I said, okay, two guys I was considering and I'm like, okay, this guy's been around longer than they're going to get my vote. If I thought, wow, they, I'd like to vote for both. I'd like, I'd like to vote for 17, <laughs> but I can't, I can only vote for 10 like the rest of you. Um, so here are the 10 guys. Uh, let me give you the seven that I didn't vote for because they're still worth checking out. All these channels are worth checking out if you don't follow them already. They're obviously channels I enjoy and find either educational, entertaining, or inspirational. Uh, but these are the guys that that were on my list that didn't ultimately get a vote. Aranya Boys, back in the back to the cardboard, Shannon, Ken's Cardboard, Lou Rock TV, Ziggy No. Picker Jim S and Purple GT 22. Uh, so again, not unworthy, just I only have 10 spots. So definitely worth you guys checking out. All right, here are the 10 that I voted for. And I'll say a little bit about each of them because that's one of the funnest things. If somebody thinks your channel's awesome, for someone to compliment that, consider you one of the 10 best channels that's out there that's not in the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame yet, that that means a lot, you know? And uh, I remember when, as people voted for me, I was honored and humbled every time someone would mention my name. So that it's cool. Uh, these are in no particular order, literally just the order that I wrote them down as I was going through my list and I would redo it and et cetera. But the first one is James Elite Hunters. Elite Hunters is his channel. Uh, James is a great guy with a great collection. He does, puts a lot of effort into his videos. He does unique stuff. He does different things. Um, his collection, he has these unique parts of his collection that I think are awesome. And it inspires me to think differently about how I collect and always something. I, and, he, and I'm entertained tremendously when I watch his MVP series or Triple Crown stuff or whatever. And, and he's got a great collection. That is a factor. How awesome is their collection? <laughs> to me, that matters. Like, uh, that's an important part of it. And James has one for sure. So James is my first one. Next one, uh, I'm actually going to do, I'll, I'll kind of skip around on my list because I, I'm now going to do this group of guys that are longtime uh, YouTube, you know, content creators. People think I'm OG and I am not OG. Uh, there are guys been doing this way longer than me and I want to pay some respect to some of those guys some of them a little bit longer than me so a couple of them a lot longer than me but the first one is Big D for Life Scott and the funny thing is some of these guys I don't even collect like them but that doesn't mean they don't still have a great channel like Scott's a football guy the good news about Scott is he is a Cowboys fan so there is that that did help him. I'm telling you right now. Uh, Scott is passionate and love that he's opinionated and not afraid to share it. And, you know, uh, and he has a great Cowboys collection. So I always love watching his stuff. Um, I'm not into football cards, certainly as much as he is or the next guy, but I do respect it. And you can have, and that's the funny thing. You don't have to collect like somebody to respect what they do and respect their passion for it and enjoy watching them build their collections. The next guy is another football guy, Brad 8671. Brad has been around since the wheel was created and he is consistent. He's still doing content. He is one of those guys that is a great community guy. All these people are, you'll, the 10 that I name are all great community guys. So I could say that literally about every one of them. But Brad, you know, he's Bradley Claus and, and every Christmas, everybody, it feels like he gives something to everybody and it's thoughtful and it's uh, creative and it's generous and it's just, 
he he is one of a kind in our community and long overdue i think for recognition for this little thing that we call the youtube sports card hall of fame uh, another old school guy, let me check these off as I talk about them so I don't duplicate myself, is Dustin Bellinger. DB has been around a really long time. And, you know, he used to do a show with Dustin and Blake, with, with Dustin Abram, Abraham, about the D&D sports cars. I wish they still did that. You guys should do that again. That was really good when you did it. But Dustin Bellinger should be in he's been around forever and does a great job and helps the community with doing uh grading submissions and all kinds of stuff so dustin belliger absolutely gets a vote from me uh, my last really old school guy that uh, it just feels like gets lost in the shuffle maybe or something but caleb's cards uh caleb is incredibly community involved uh, he watches so many people's videos and comments and takes the time and, uh, he, he cares about this community. He's a TTM guy. So, uh, inspirational to me cause I started doing a little TT. In fact, I sent a TTM out today. Um, but those are the kind of guys that we need in this community that we want in this community cause they're so positive and they're always helping people out. And so Caleb gets my vote this year. All right, next up is <laughs> maybe so a surprising vote for some of you who know the story, but um, because I'm Carlos is getting a vote for me. Carlos and I, we certainly don't agree on everything. I hope that there's a mutual respect between us. I certainly have respect towards him for what he does and how he does it. It's different than the way I do it. Uh, but he is incredibly consistent. He is entertaining. He is definitely opinionated. Again, that is something I respect. I actually like people just to say what they think and not just try to cater to the masses and, and might be a difference of opinion from most people, but he gives an explanation why he doesn't just throw out some random crazy thought without having a, a reasonable thought out, reasonably thought out explanation behind it and so his lives are great there's lots of people on there people love doing that and going and seeing that so because i'm carlos gets a vote from me next up is uh, again another guy i think like you think this community and you think of this guy and that's jimmy guns jimmy guns is a friend of mine no doubt and i love the guy <laughs> he is so great. Uh, and, and for Jimmy and I, it's, it's beyond sports cards. Uh, we, he is, he's a good dude and he does a lot for this community. He does a lot for all kinds of just people. Like he just loves people. And I also want him on my side. If I ever have to get into a West side story, you know, uh, type, uh, battle of battle Royale with, another group of collectors. I definitely want Jimmy guns on my side. Uh, so Jimmy is just awesome and I'm glad, happy and honored to, to vote for him. Let's see. What do I got? Three more. Uh, okay. I'll do this one now. You guys might agree to disagree with me on this one, but card collector two, Ryan, definitely easily the guy I think he probably has more subs than everybody else on my list combined. Subs isn't the only thing. It doesn't matter. But Ryan, great production value. He's obviously got a team and it's corporate. And he's on a whole nother level than all of us uh, in, in terms of what he can do. But that doesn't mean the videos aren't worth watching. I, I love when he goes to shows. I love watching him negotiate. I learn, talk about educational, man, just watching him make a deal on a group of car. Hey, what if I add this? What I, so many sayings that he says, a lot of them I've used for a long time. A lot of them I've added to my repertoire of negotiating skills by watching Ryan. And he is a master at it. He's really, really good. He picks up great stuff. Again, he's not even a baseball guy, really. He self-admitted, he will admit that uh, he doesn't know a lot about baseball, but that again, he picks up a lot of stuff I would never even consider buying. And yet, he finds joy in it and finds value in it and opportunity in it. And I respect that and appreciate it. 
So yeah, Ryan's got a vote from me. Two more. Reindeer Studios, Scott. And this was tough because I I wanted to vote for Eric too. Like Eric would I didn't have Eric written down. Eric is another guy, Four Leaf Cards, who is amazing, great community guy and great artist and but um I I I, I'm giving a vote to Scott be, just because uh, he has done a lot of stuff for a lot of people. So is Eric. So I don't want it to sound like Eric's not good and, and Scott is. Eric's fantastic. Eric's an amazing guy. Um, but I think Scott just uh, is great. He's so talented. I mean, so insanely talented. Go watch his videos on drawing anything. <laughs> and uh, I can't draw a stick figure very well. So... I just respect what he does and admire what he does. And he's great for this community and all that. Last guy, last vote for me is a guy that I think so many people are missing out on and not watching him. And he's not like a prolific video producer, but when he does, you better watch it because it's fire. It's absolutely amazing. And that's Josh rated rookie. Josh is uh, a great guy, has an amazing collection and he's incredibly humble about it. He's incredibly just just down to earth guy. He could be flexing a lot, I promise you guys. And he doesn't do that. He is just so cool. Uh, he's a great friend of mine. I'm glad. I'm honored to call him a friend. It's most of these, like almost all these guys, are my friends, and I'm and I'm grateful for that. That's, that's certainly what makes a community a community is the the connections that we make and the friendships that we make. But Josh uh, is one of those guys that I just. He's like must watch for me. If he puts a video out, I am watching it because I'm going to see something very, very cool. And then he talks about it and the connections there. And it's uh, baseball, basketball, football. It's all kinds of stuff. And it's all just awesome. And we think a lot alike. Josh and I, I think um, there are several guys in the community that I consider kind of like brothers just because we get along in that way, in a good way and, and compliment each other a lot. In, in terms of complementary type uh, personalities and collecting styles. And Josh is one of those guys. So Josh is my 10th vote. I hope all these guys get in. Only five of them are going to get in. That's another change that uh, Jake made that I actually think is good because it helps the longevity of this whole idea of the YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. And But those are the 10 votes that I'm putting out there for you guys. If you don't know their channels, go check them out. I will put links down below to these channels. So if you don't know them or are not familiar with them, go check them out. See what you think. We'll talk to you guys soon. That's my vote this year, 2023 YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame. Have a great one. Keep collecting.